In this video, we would like to talk about active devices along with the key question. Is the transistor the only active device? To answer this question, the first thing to do is to draw a table of all kinds of active devices categorized with types of input and output signals. Since there are two types of signals, which are the current and voltage, as each input and output signal. So we have four possible combinations of active devices, as shown in this table. Now, we can fill out those four blanks. As you can see, the first one is for bipolar junction transistors, and the second one is for field effect transistors. In contrast, the third and fourth ones seem to be missing, to the best of our knowledge. Now, the next question is here. What are these missing devices? At the moment, we can name it as transistor rather than transistor since it works like a variable capacitor which directly generate a voltage output with a transferred input. This is the key difference from transistors. Interestingly, they are in the inverse relationship with transistors. For example, FET transfers a voltage input into a current output, whereas the third missing transistor transfers a current input into a voltage output. So, they are opposite to each other. To simplify this, we can employ a Tetris like block analysis. Here, a T-shaped block is defined for transistors. As an easy example, in order to fill a square area, we need four of them as shown here. And three of them are forming the inverse shape of the main block. However, this is not the optimum combination. Because this is what we can do at the moment since transistors are only active devices we have discovered so far. So, the natural question is that what is the optimum theoretically at least? The optimum is with the U-shaped block like this. And this block coupled with the T-shaped block can easily make an even smaller square suggesting the minimum circuit configuration in terms of size and number of device counts. And this U-shaped block is representing the missing transistors. As a practical example, transistor-based voltage amplifier needs four MOSFETs. Whereas a transistor-transistor combination just requires just two of them while providing the same functionality. Now, another question is what is underlying physical mechanisms and semiconductor materials for their operations? We don't know yet. But it may be operated not just with an electric effect but an electromagnetic effect. Such as Hall effect. Finally, we are hoping you investigate this further to discover and demonstrate the transistors for a new paradigm of electronics in near future. Where the missing transistors are making an optimum configuration coupled with transistors.